Ah, welcome back. Sorry, we've been quiet. Um, been busy with other businesses and stuff, so uh, we're going to try and rattle through today. So, what um, a lot of people ask me to talk about the day prior to an event, which I'm going to come to sh shortly. But what I want to do first is how you document, or how more so, how I document an event, the details which I go to, and um, what I write down about my tournament and performance. So bit more of analysis than anything else and um, if I can start to notice trends or patterns. So what I have got here, I found my notes from the European Fit House in Hungary. Um, went there feeling very, very good. I'm you know, trying to win that shoot for, I believe, the fourth time. So it didn't go to plan. Um, I shot well, just not well enough. And there was one specific target that cost me um, a lot of problems so um, when I got back it turns out there, there was an issue with 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 a uh, something else that caused a lot of the problems but we don't need to go there but what I'm going to do I'm going to read off to you my notes um, I'm going to try I'm not technically minded so I've asked a friend see if he can put them together into a movie for me that I can place on the end of this clip so give you a bit of background on the world fitter European fitter sorry it starts on the Thursday it was in Hungary, so we shoot Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Travelled on the Wednesday, um, so my doc, my notes start on the Wednesday. Um, hopefully, this gives you a bit of an insight. I'll try and go a bit deeper into some of them. My notes from Wednesday. Okay, took an early flight, had lots and lots of delays, got to the ground very late, had the opening ceremony, ate crap food all day, had zero water intake. My personal feeling was I felt was a six out of 10, but I was very excited for the competition to begin. So automatically there, looking back now, I start to see the problems. No water intake, crap food all day, late and rushing around. So, you know, I certainly made sure that doesn't happen again. So Thursday, um, it was, we went there expecting um, good weather and it wasn't good weather on day one. So, Thursday, didn't sleep great last night, felt tired but woke up early, left early for the shooting ground, felt positive, shot in boots today, on the layout I ate cereal bar, water and a Powerade, got wet all day, score was 44 out of 50, should have been a 48, ate chicken and chips at 4pm, my personal feeling 7.5 out of 10. So again, I always like to document what I'm wearing, see if there's a pattern, um, my sleep patterns, what I ate during the day, um, what time I ate in the evening, and, and how I feel at the end of each day, again, looking for trends and patterns. Friday, shooting early, felt very good, weather was better, today shot in trainers and moved the gun very well. Um, layout, cereal bar, water and Powerade, score today was the disaster day, 43 out of 50, even though I felt I moved the gun well, you'll see a pattern there, um, should have hit 47, ate chicken and pasta at 2pm, but also ate a huge meat barbecue at 7pm, personal feeling today of 7.5 out of 10, so even though I felt I moved the gun very, very well, um, I didn't shoot well. Interesting. We'll come back to that later. Saturday. Slept great. Woke up feeling full of energy. On early hot sun. Trainer shorts and t-shirt were worn. On the layout, I only had a cereal bar and water. Didn't have any Powerade. I forgot to take my earplugs to the layout. Had to race around and try and find some of those. Shot an excellent 48 out of 50, including a 25 straight. Moved the gun great, ate chicken and pasta at 3 p.m. But in the evening, I ate a lot of shit snacks around 8 p.m. Personal feeling today was 9 out of 10. So things are starting to roll a little bit. We started to get a little bit of a move on. Started to sleep better in a strange bed. Back into my shorts and trainers, which is where I'm most comfortable, okay? Sunday, on early. Back to rain gear and boots. Again, forgot earplugs. Moved the gun well, cereal bar and fizzy water on the layout. Now that's a problem for me. Uh, I don't like fizzy water, but I must have took the wrong bottle. Um, shot 43 out of 50, should have shot a 48. Um, personal feeling was an eight out of 10. 
So that was my worst day, um, even though I had my best day the day before. Um, I'll go into why at the end. Um, it's quite an interesting, and you can start to see that this was my fault. That's what I'm taking from this. My prep was crap. Two days in a row, I forgot my earplugs. Took the wrong water, forgot my Powerade the day before. So I got out of this competition what I deserved. I was simply ill-prepared, and that's not good enough. So layout by stands. I list all of the targets that I miss. Uh, slow trap shot, long left to right edge on crosser, on MVI, range master, etc. I've got a going away Shondell, left to right edge on crosser, left to right edge on crosser. Vertis Forest, some slow birds, slow birds, slow birds. Krieg off all my lists. I'm going to try and put these on, like I said, at the end so you can have a read of these. That's just the layout breakdowns by, um, by the individual stations. Now, this is interesting. What I do is do my misses by peg numbers. So, of eight layouts I shot, I only missed three birds on station one, so I always started well. I missed six birds on station two throughout the whole tournament, but I missed 14 birds on state no, 12 birds, 14 birds on station number three. And it says what the F next to it. That was that's my problem with station three. I only missed one bird on station four out of all of the eight layouts. And that was really interesting. I, and I come back with that, that on my mind. So my list to take away from the event. Things to take away. Must eat better, must eat later. I noticed I was eating at four o'clock every day, getting hungry, but I didn't have enough energy to carry me through. My water intake must start on the Monday, even though the shoot starts on the Thursday. I must check the local entertainment better before the event starts. I find myself very bored in the evenings. Electrolytes were missing. I must prep my, my shooting bag on the day before the event, not in the morning. That's just you being lazy, Ben. My best day was after the barbecue, which was interesting. My breakfast needs to be better. I didn't really eat breakfast because we rented a house. We didn't have a hotel, which we will come to. Um, I need to take more protein, oats, and snacks to the layout with me. Technique. Might look at trying to bead for better reference on the slow birds. I tried that. That wasn't the answer. Birds below my feet were not a big issue, but it needs a little look at. The slow trap shots, highlights massively. That was the bird I missed a lot of, and uh, we found out why. Somehow I need to adopt a faster method from the gun down position. Really need better clarity between, between gun and the clay when no lead is needed. That's an interesting stat. And that's my 10 pages. So I'm gonna try and put them on at the end, like I said, but um, I was missing this one particular time. What we found out, I had my gun serviced, the uh, gunsmith removed the recoil pad, took out all of my weights that I have in there and my pitch um, to draw to the pitch on the back. When he was finished, he put the recoil pad back, back, did not put the pitch plate back and did not put the weights back. I didn't notice until the end of the event, well, after the event when I was trying to fix it. So I'm not saying that was it, but it was a huge problem. But most of this was ill preparation and just poor poor performance so I will try and tag these notes on the end for you to read that's how I go through my analysis that's how I go through an event afterwards and then um, my next video will be how to prepare before so I hope that helps I hope it makes sense and um, any questions post them below thank you